Hello everybody! Ciao! Salut! Welcome! Hey Angela, I see you. Hi Suzanne. Oh, I got my US peeps checking in already. Salut Lucy. Hi Chiara. Ciao Chiara. Hi Rose. Hi Nina. Hi Isa. Hi Prisca. Another Nina. Hi. Hi Tara. Ciao Gabriella. How are you? How are you all? Oh, it's good to see you all. Everybody is um, joining in. It's good to see all of your names popping up on my screen. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, I'm a little confused because we did a Zoom a couple days ago and already welcomed the new year, but we didn't do it properly here on Instagram Live. So Happy New Year to everybody who wasn't there for our Zoom. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you all here. And we can ring the new year in. 2021 is already a lot better than 2020, wasn't it? Isn't it? I mean, so far, so good, anyway. Um, yeah, hi, Karen. Hi, uh, salut, Fanny. Um, yeah, our big news is um, it's our anniversary week. So we'll be talking about that. Uh, so yeah, happy birthday to us. Uh, Mika Fan Club is 14 as of yesterday. Um, I am hoping that everything goes okay. My iPad has been acting up. Um, it was loading things very slowly earlier, so I hope that everything goes smoothly. We'll give it a try. And if it doesn't, then I will just go to my trusty iPhone. And uh, I think we'll be all right either way. Um, but so far, so good. We're we're doing okay here. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Anna. Um, hi, Miriam. Um, uh, hi, Sarah. Yes, happy birthday to the Mika fan club. That is really our big news. I always wish at the start, anybody who's celebrating a birthday, um, a happy birthday or a happy anniversary, if you've got some special date that you're celebrating, um, but for us, it's January 5th. Um, January 5th, two, 2007 was when Mika Fan Club came into existence. And uh, so we celebrate that day every year. That was yesterday. But we also celebrate all week on the forum on MikaFanClub.com. Uh, we have, through the generosity of Mika and his team, we have a lot of prizes to give away, and so we're having some competitions, um, some fun and games. Uh, please go over to MikaFanClub.com, create an account if you don't already have one. It's free and very easy to join, and then you can participate in our games. I will be doing a trivia competition on social media um, later today. Look for that. Um, that will be... Uh, celebrating um, our fan club, branching out into social media. Um, we're not just a forum. We we do reach out here on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that's all. <laughs> that's that's enough. Um, hi, Emmy from Scotland, who is on lockdown. I am so sorry to hear that. Um, I know the UK um, is uh, in dire straits. And I know they have locked down, and I know um, there are other places that are going through the same thing. Um, and here, uh, it's not great, but we haven't gone back to extreme lockdown yet. But I, I think some states really ought to be. I don't know if it's made the news where you are, wherever you may be, um, but which is on the west coast of this country, so... A couple thousand miles away from me, um, but I have friends there in California, and it is not good. It is really not very good there. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so saying, continuing to welcome everybody as they're coming in. It's, I still see a lot of people joining. Uh, Steffi, um, I see uh, CJ. Um, oh, did Joe get the Georgia seat yet? <laughs> well, that's not exactly what's happening 
Um, right now, they are um, certifying the votes. I don't know how much you want to get into American politics, but they are the um, joint session of Congress is um, meeting to certify the electoral college votes, and it's merely a formality. Um, so that's happening right now. Yesterday, um, there was an, uh, two elections in Georgia, uh, the state of Georgia, and um, the two senators, um, the two senator spots that were open, um, could change the way. Uh, the American Congress um, goes in the future, and both of those open seats were won by Democrats. So, in effect, CJ, yeah, um, you did. We did. Uh, Joe did sort of get. Um, he got the Senate. Um, we think. I know they're going to contest it, and it's um, it's American politics is a mess right now. We should spend our time talking about more fun things, <laughs> Mika things, or at least Mika fan club things, right? Um, so yeah, um, like I said, our big news is our anniversary and um, we've been celebrating. So um, that's really all the news that I have to tell you as far as the fan club goes. Um, as far as Mika news, I don't know if you saw, but um, he has released the single, um, the song um, that he did with Dana pa Paola, um, the rock, the old Roxette single, um, It Must Have Been Love. Um, they, they duetted during his I Love Beirut concert in September, and uh, they have released that as a single. It's available for streaming, and... Um, it's also, uh, the video has been put out on YouTube, so you can see that. Um, freezing again, yeah. Um, well, keep telling me if it gets real bad, we'll start over. Um, so far, it, it's very intermittent, so we'll, we'll keep going. Um, yeah, I know, it is freezing. I'm, I'm, uh... I'm going to keep forging ahead and hope that it doesn't get real bad. Um, the purple thing on my shelf up here, right there, that's a balloon. Um, I thought I had a couple balloons that I could put out to celebrate our birthday, and I only had one. <laughs> so I thought I had, I've put them somewhere, and I've hidden them from myself. Um, so sorry, you just get one balloon for our party today. <laughs> um, yeah, he needs to release the video of Promised Land and the single. Yeah, that would be awesome. I would love that because I thought if you didn't see the I Love Beirut concert, um, Mika sang um, his song Promised Land with um, an Arabic, and um, it was a, an awesome, um, awesome collaboration that I would love to see released as a single. Um, so let's see, we've got uh, lots of people joining. That's a really uh, fun thing. Hello, uh, hola Jose, or is that Josepha? I'm sorry. Um, hello, Sasha? Hello, Helene? Hello, Paola? I'm happy to see you all here. Uh, Oops. And um, I just wanted to touch on um, one or two other things about uh, what Mika's been up to. Um, I guess he is still working on The Voice in France. He's doing a special edition of The Voice uh, that's not going to air until the fall. Um, it's kind of, uh, they're calling it an all-stars um version of the show and he posted a few stories about that yesterday so we know he's still working on that and he's supposedly um, working on a program in Canada called Star Academy it's sort of like their version of X Factor um, he's the artistic director uh, for that show and um, 
he's been doing some interviews related to that, and um, I suppose he'll be going over to Canada at some point, uh, maybe next month. So, yeah, I thought since it's our anniversary, um, I might, if you indulge me, I might share uh, some highlights of the fan club's past 14 years. I pulled some pictures. They're, they're purely personal to me, um, not necessarily highlights of Mika's career, but of the fan club, uh, the fan club's lifespan. Um, things that uh, I thought were kind of um, interesting. Some of them uh, you've probably seen before if you've been following our Instagram lives for the past 42 weeks. Um, I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning, but this is week 42 um, of doing this. Um, so if you have seen it before, please bear with me. Um, I know we kind of do a lot of nostalgic things um, here, but uh, right now, I guess, because we're a lot of us in lockdown or sort of in a holding pattern, we're not making a lot of new movie, new memories. Um, we're doing living, living in the past a little bit more, remembering um, old, old good times, and in the hope of making new good times soon in the future. Um, yeah, I seem to be freezing a lot. Well, we'll, uh, we'll keep going until it gets really bad because I, I kind of hate to switch. Yeah, I kind of hate to switch over in the middle or start over again. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep going ahead if this is okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, like I said, I have some photos. I won't um, go too long on them, but if you have any questions about them, please ask, and we can talk about them, and maybe you'll see yourself in some of them, because I have a lot of group photos. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I keep freezing. Um, we'll, we'll try it for a few more minutes, and then if I have to restart, I'll restart. <laughs> Shazad asks me, when is the next Zoom? I've barely recovered from the last one, <laughs> but um, I don't have a date yet, but uh, probably in a, a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, if you missed our Zoom the other day, we'll do another one in a couple of weeks. Um, how am I? I'm doing okay, thanks. Um, coping. Uh, lots of... Um, stuff going on at home, but doing all right. I hope you're all doing okay too. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hope that the photos work and that you can see them and uh, we can talk a little bit about, we can wax a little nostalgic for a few minutes um, with Mika Fan Club through the years here. Let's see. Uh, okay, I, as I said, this is sort of what highlights, um, highlights of the Mika fan club over the years. Like I said, not necessarily Mika's career highlights, but our uh, fan club highlights. And I kind of start with um, this picture, which is from March of 2007, uh, because this was right after, soon after the fan club started, soon after I joined the fan club. Um, and this is, this is um, Mika getting the first uh, fan club scrapbook. And uh, Savon, who was on the right there in the pink shirt, um, put it together by hand. And we all sent her letters uh, to Mika and she assembled it into a nice book and gave it to him. And he very sweetly went through it with her. And uh, I remember that as one of the first big things that happened with the fan club. Um, so that was kind of um, my own personal beginning, I guess, of uh, the, the being immersed in the fan club. Um, so yeah, that was 14 years ago. Um, 
let's see here. One of the next things I kind of remember is a group of fans, Scottish fans in fact mostly, uh, made Mika a pair of trousers out of uh, tartan plaid. It was like a flannel and uh, they fit him and he actually wore them at the end of a gig uh, after they had given them to him. So I felt like that was kind of a, it was a first um, <laughs> really big thing that I, I thought that I had been involved in anyway that fans gave to Mika. Um, so, um, yeah, I even still have a swatch of that fabric somewhere <laughs> because it was kind of a special thing. Um, there's Anna says she's read about the trousers on the fan club. There's even a video somewhere, but I didn't... Um, Put the video in this mix because a lot of times when I do video you guys can't hear it um, and the video the the audio on that particular video is really bad because <laughs> it's 14 years old so um, do I think he still has those trousers um, I wonder he must have them tucked away um, I'm sorry Isa hasn't seen the photos there's only been two so far um, Let's see. I look like I'm okay right now. I'm not still frozen, I don't think. Um, this is um, one of the big uh, moments in the fan club history, I think. Um, it's actually where we petitioned, a group of fans petitioned Mika to uh, become his official fan club. Uh, as things, well, as it's happened, when, when back in those days, there, Mika had a website, mikasounds.com, and there was a forum on it, but it was not maintained. I think the record label just put it up there, and so it was full of junk and spam and nastiness and whatever, and, and the mikafanclub.com forum was much more organized and moderated and um, seemed to have a better... Um, group of people participating regularly and so we petitioned Mika to be his official fan club and um, the woman seated there is Wendy who is still a fan um, I still hear from her and she had the petition which we had assembled into a book and um, the woman in pink is Gemma who is also still a fan and still around um, and as you can see, Andy was Mika's cameraman at the time, and uh, he was videoing uh, Wendy as she talked about the petition and what she wanted to do. Um, so that was in November of 2007 at a gig in Glasgow, and I consider that really the, the start of the official uh, fan club. Mika actually did then buy the dom domain mikafanclub.com and uh, sort of owns us, as I have said in the past. Um, so that was, uh, like I said, November of 2007. Um, can you see the video? You mean the video that Andy took? I've never seen that, if that's what you're talking about. We do have a video of Mika talking to Wendy when she gave him the book. Um, Again, I didn't include that because a lot of times you guys can't hear the video or the audio on the videos I post. So, um, anyway, let's see. Um, oh, and this is Mika from that night, I think right after he got the, the book. Um, another big highlight for the fan club, I thought, was uh, the Christmas party in 2008. Um, Mika's not in these pictures. You won't see him. Um, but it was a group of fans that gathered in London um, for a Mika gig, I believe, and uh, Mika sent champagne to the party. Um, now, Karen, I don't think we... Andy took a lot of videos of a lot of us, but I don't think we've ever seen them. I don't know where they ended up, <clears throat> if they still have them. Yeah, so, uh, so this was the party, and some of these uh, fans in the picture are still fans today and I still hear from them and see them around and uh, I think this is oops 
yeah. Now this picture is uh, from June of 2009. This was the first massive gathering of Mika fan club fans. Mika did a gig in London at a venue called Sadler's Wells. And um, we had, I think, about a hundred fans that time, and they were, you know, fans from all over. And we gathered uh, together there, and it was amazing to me. It was just amazing that that many fans came from all over. And when we sat in the theater and I looked around, seated all around me were people that I knew or knew from the fan club just virtually and had just met. And uh, it was just an amazing thing. Um, so that was a that was a really big deal, I thought, for the fan club to have such a big gathering back then. Um, you see me. Yeah, I am in that picture. <laughs> um, and I think this is the same, uh, some of the same fans, maybe a few others, and, and our big Mika fan club flag that we have talked about before. Rose put that together. Rose is here um, in the chat right now. And uh, that was, uh, again, like I said, June of 2009. Yeah, Sadler's Well, <laughs> Brian May was at Sadler's Wells, yeah. And I think Adele was actually there as well. And Imogene Heap was there as well. Um, so yeah, Mika had been attracting, um, a number of, of fairly big names. Um, so that was, pretty, um, so let's see, that's 2009. Um, I have some other photos here. Um, in 2010, um, I thought it was kind of cool. Mika went to South America and he had a chance to meet some of the South American fans. And so we kind of expanded the fan club and I remember uh, talking to a number of fans down in Brazil and um, I'm trying to remember where else, if it was, uh, when it, yeah, Argentina, I think. Um, and we were organizing meet and greets with Mika. So he, he got to meet some of the South American fans and um, that was that was kind of cool cool for them too. I know um, they were disappointed that he didn't get to go back there because of the coronavirus last year. So, um, so that was 2010. Let's see here. I tried to keep them in order, but it looks like maybe they got a little out of order. In 2012, um, yeah. This was 2012, around Mika's birthday, in, in um, August of 2012, Mika performed at the Balloon Festival in, uh, outside of Montreal in Canada, and uh, we were able to organize a meet and greet with him. And in the background there, you see the white and blue thing, that's balloons. It was a uh, cupcake made out of balloons since we were at the balloon festival and uh, we got to go backstage after Mika performed and uh, chat with him for a little bit and um, and uh, give him a few gifts and, and that kind of thing and that was kind of cool and I'm actually in that picture too <laughs> but you can only see the top of my head and uh, as you, as somebody noticed, Mika is always the tallest. Yeah, he's always the tallest in any group. <laughs> so, and I'm always probably the shortest or one of the shortest. So, um, yeah. So let's see. So, like I said, that was August of 2012, and um, in December of 2012, this is kind of a personal favorite thing of mine. Mika performed in Iceland in December of 2012 and I was able to go and there were only a few fans uh, from the fan club there and we got to meet with him afterward and I convinced him to make a Christmas message video um, and uh, I got to take the video and as you can see that's me in the blue coat there <laughs> and you may have seen the video on our YouTube um, and even on our I think I have it on our Instagram TV as well. And uh, that was a really 
fun memory and a fun time. I really felt like it was good for the fan club that we got, we got him to make a video for us. Um, and it was a good video. He did it really just off the cuff and uh, did a really nice job with it. So that was December. Oh, and this is just us talking to him afterward uh, in December. Um, now in 2013, Mika turned 30 and we came up with an idea for a gift for him that was not a material thing because we felt like he has a lot of material things. Um, and a moderator at the time named Christine had this fabulous idea that we should get a seat at the Royal Opera House uh, named for him because that's really where he started his career. Um, and oh, I'll just backtrack for a minute. CJ says, was he on a skateboard? It was, it was like a, uh, I don't know what they call it, like a dolly kind of thing that you put equipment on and you move, it was on wheels and you move equipment on it and he, he sat down on that. So kind of like a skateboard, a big skateboard. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, uh, so when he turned 30, we decided to get him a seat at the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden in London, um, named for him. So we raised the money and they put the plaque, uh, the little name plaque on the chair for him. And, um, there it is right there. And it's... <laughs> The seat is way high up. If you ever get to go to the Royal Opera House, it's way high up because obviously the closer the seat was, the more expensive it would be. So uh, this was what we, it was what we could afford, but it looks really nice. And I have seen the seat there myself in person and um, it's still there and it's kind of cool. And um, yes, Mika, as you may have seen the video, um, he was pretty taken aback. I think he must have known that we were doing something for his birthday, but I don't think he knew exactly uh, what it was going to be. And I think as he realized what this was, um, he was pretty um, impressed, I hope, anyway. And as you can see, Karen is in this picture here on the, the right there, smiling so pretty. And uh, there's some other fans that are still around that were there. This was August of 2013, and it was at a gig in Switzerland. Um, I forget, it was called Avent, Avanche, something, I can't remember. Um, but they had a little birthday party for Mika behind, uh, in a, a, an area uh, off stage after the gig. And uh, yeah, I thought it, uh, we were kind of pleased with ourselves for carrying that off. Um, so let's see, that was August of 2013. And oh, here, this is a better picture of the seat. I thought I had this somewhere. As you can see, it's right on the end of the row, which is good. If Mika ever decides to sit there, um, he'll be able to stretch his legs out. And uh, it is, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a nice a nice thing I think this is the view oh yeah I don't know if you can see very well from this picture but if you're sitting in that seat that's how far away you are from the stage <laughs> that's the view um, so let's see here where else um, this is a group of fans that also got to uh, celebrate Mika's 30th birthday um, this was a different gig uh, Mika is there in the back in the middle of the group and uh, we were able to um, meet and greet after a show to help celebrate his birthday there. Um, yeah, somebody else can sit in his seat unless he unless he wants to sit there. They can sell that seat. Yes, and somebody can sit there. Um, oh, is that what it was? It was Colmar. That's right. Yeah, this picture that's on the screen right now. Um, and, uh, they baked a nice cake for him and, um, everybody just had a chance to sit around and I think there was even champagne there. 
<laughs> where's Wally? Well, yeah, it's where's Mika. Yes, I believe that was Colmar, Karen. Um, so let's see here. Where are we? So that's still August of 2013. And... I have some pictures that have gotten out of order, so I have to kind of jump around. I'm sorry. Talk amongst yourselves while I find the right pictures. <laughs> um, oh dear, things have definitely gotten out of order somehow. Um, oh, okay, so um, then we are at, I think we jump to February of 2015, when Mika did his first symphonic concerts in Montreal. And the fan club again organized. We had about 100 people coming from all over the world. So we organized a big gathering. And um, we all got together and had a nice meal at a restaurant in Montreal. It was February, so it was very cold outside, I remember very clearly. Um, but Mika knew that we were getting together and having a party and very sweetly had a gorgeous cake sent to us. Um, and this cake, as you can see, the flowers, uh, the, mo the motif was um, similar to the posters for that symphonic concert. And it was just so beautiful and such a total surprise to us. Um, so that was really um, a very special memory, a very special fan club memory for me because I had absolutely no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> and um, it was really, really very sweet. And the cake was delicious. It was really, it tasted every bit as good as it looked. It was really a shame to have to eat it, but we did, we did take plenty of photos. Um, so that was in, like I said, February of 2015. Um, in July of 2015, Mika performed on Good Morning America, and uh, I was able to organize a group of fans uh, to get together for a special dinner before, the night before he was performing, and then... Um, after his performance, uh, we were able to have a little meet and greet with him afterward uh, behind uh, the stage. And it was in Central Park in New York, and that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and we all, we all took a picture of the cake. I mean, there must be a hundred pictures of that cake because uh, there were a hundred of us there, I think. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the picture that is on the screen right now was New York um, in July of 2015. And uh, Good Morning America was kind of a cool thing. We had to get up very early and we had to stand outside um, in the sun for hours while they filmed. But it was really worth it. And then afterward, we got to mingle a little bit with me. You've probably seen this photo before. Um, Mika... <laughs> crouched down so he wouldn't be the tallest one um, in the group. And uh, that was really kind of a cool thing for the, the fan club to, to get to uh, participate in. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, no. Again, I'm sorry, the, some other photos have found their way in into into my mix here. Um, okay, so um, after that, oh, this is this is um, also 2015. This is when uh, Mika performed in Montreal in the summer, in July of 2015. I I believe that was um, the next year. Oh no, it was October. I think of that year. Uh, Mika performed in London and. A hundred fans from all over the world gather, and so we had a big party um, because we like to have parties. And uh, we all got together before the gig, and um, this is just some candid shots of some of the people that were there. And um, 
as you can see, that was Mika that night. And I believe this is the night where everybody in the front anyway, had flags, printed out a flag of what country they were from. And at the end of the show, we all held up the flags so that Mika could see um, the assortment of fans that he had from everywhere. And uh, it was pretty impressive to see the pictures afterward, like taken from the stage, looking out at the audience. Um, this was the Palladium, yeah. It was, yes, I think that was the Palladium. Because um, the following year it was at the, um, I forget the name of the theater now. Um, but yeah, this was, this was in London, and let's see. Then the following year, Mika performed again in London at the, somebody help me, the Adelphi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for remembering the Adelphi. And this was um, another occasion for a hundred of us fans from all over. And uh, as you can see, we are a partying group. And if you ever ever been to one of our parties, I hope you can experience one. Um, we all managed to have a good time singing and dancing, and um, it's, uh, yeah, it was a, a lot of fun, and uh, we had a really good time that night. <clears throat> oh, I see. Adelphi was 2015, and the Palladium was 2016? Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds better. Yeah. Adelphi first. You're right. Sorry about that. I'm old. I'm sorry, I get, I get everything mixed up here. <laughs> um, looking forward to an MFC party now. Yeah, me too. I'm ready. I am ready. Um, so, yeah. And also that year, um, let's see, is this, is this the right picture? This was, um, I believe, Chernobyl in... Um, October, no, in August of 2016. Um, if there's an Italian fan that was there, maybe they can remind me if, that, if I've got that date right. I think there were, I, I don't know how many Italian fans gathered there and they were able to have a meet and greet with Mika afterward. Um, and I think because it was near his birthday, they had a cake and presents and, and that kind of thing. Um, I was not there, unfortunately, for that one, but... Um, if you look at this picture, you will see a lot of familiar faces, I think. Um, so yeah, this was Chernobyl. Thank you. <laughs> um, then, I hope I'm not boring you too much. I'm trying to f find the last couple pictures here. Ah. In 2000... Mm -mm -mm. 2017, it was the fan club's 10th anniversary, and we had a big 10th anniversary party in Milan, right? And this is the picture from Milan um, when everybody got together. Again, I wasn't able to be there for that one. We did have a smaller party in London, a 10th anniversary party in London, and I couldn't find any photos for that. I'm sure I have them somewhere, but I, I couldn't find them. Um, but this was uh, the big party in Milan. Um, and uh, that was a very big gathering. And now we're just kind of up to a pretty recent history. This is November of 2019, again in London, when about 100 fans got together to see Mika perform uh, kicking off the Revelation tour in November of 2019. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there for that, um, but it was at a pub in London, and uh, the videos and the pictures that came out of that were amazing. It looked like everybody had a great time. I think a lot of you were probably there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think... Oh, no. And then the very last Mika Fan Club highlight, we did have, well, we had a couple in 2020. Um, 
but um, in 2020, because it was kind of a crazy year, there wasn't really a chance to have any big parties. Um, I think we would have, but our one big party that we did have was uh, Mika joining us at uh, during our Instagram lives. And this was the first one, which was back in April of last year. And I cannot believe that that was almost a year ago now. <laughs> If you've been following along with us for all 42 weeks, I'm sure you remember this uh, occasion. And Mika has also joined our Instagram Live a couple other times um, since then. He joined us again in July and he joined us again in October. And this would be a really great time for me to say, and he's going to join us now. But <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I haven't seen him pop up anywhere and I didn't hear anything from him so unfortunately not today um, but we can pretend <laughs> with his smiling face here on the screen we can pretend that uh, he's there there we can pretend this is like last April um, and I think <laughs> did I invite him Mika knows he has a standing invitation and he knows when all of our Instagram lives are but I think he's busy right now. I don't think he's uh, able to to stop in. So um, that was our very long uh, trip through the last 14 years of Mika Fan Club. I know I've missed some uh, highlights. Uh, like I said, it was a very personal um, walk down memory lane for me because I had all, you know, these are the pictures that I had. Um, have some other highlight fan club highlights fan club gatherings that you had uh, that I am not aware of or that I don't have photos for um, but anyway for anybody who's new to the fan club you can see we have been around a while we have had some really cool experiences um, with Mika and without Mika and um, I'm looking forward to the next 14 years or whatever um, of creating more memories with all of you and with Mika um, so there, that is it. And I will now stop boring you and, um, go back to, uh, just me. And then I will see if I can bring some of you in. I am still getting intermittent pauses, but the freezing hasn't been so terrible that I need to start over, I don't think. So, uh, I hope that's okay. Um, so now I will take a look and see who is queued up here uh, waiting to talk and uh, find out. I know you have all been having conversations um, while I've been rambling and um, walking down memory lane there, but uh, let's see if I can bring any of you in here now to talk and uh, make some fresh memories, right? Um, let's see who's here. Oh, I, did I chase everybody away? I bored everybody so much, <laughs> I think is what happened. Lisa. Lisa, are we connecting? Hello. Ah, hello. So hello, how are you? <laughs> Fine and you. Pretty good. Pretty good. So how how are things there? What are you up to? Uh can you repeat? <laughs> are you are you busy today? Uh today um um I'm going to work. Okay. Uh, I work it. <laughs> okay. Good. good. You're not you're not um stuck at home. Um, you, yes. could, you could speak in French and then someone will translate for me. That would be okay if that's yeah. easy for you. No, um, I try to speak English. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So did you, um, were you able to see most of the pictures that I shared? Had you seen those photos yes. before? Yeah. Yeah, she. Yeah. It was amazing. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be fun to, yeah. to look over. 
But um, so how is 2021 for you so far? Are you good? Did you make New Year's resolutions? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and well, you? I, I made a few and I have already broken them. <laughs> so, but I will try. I will try again. <laughs> but I want to uh, uh, get more organized and um, lose weight. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, so when you're working, oh, somebody's asking broken Deb. I broke my resolutions. Yeah. Um, when you work, what do you do? I can't remember what kind of job. Um, I work uh, in a um, laser factory. Okay. All right. Maybe we, we did talk about that before. Maybe I can't remember. Yes. Okay. There are uh, uh, a couple of weeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And um, how is your family? Are they okay? No one is sick? Uh, they are my uh, grandmother mm. uh, is uh, sick. Ah, is it is yeah. it COVID or something else? Uh, she's, uh, uh, she was a COVID and now it's a uh, other... Um, uh, like maladie, no. <laughs> like complications or, yeah, side effects. I understand. Yeah. So, yeah, that's too bad. Um, I know that France has been struggling with uh, COVID and um, restrictions. So, yeah. Um, so... Let me ask you, what are you doing uh, besides working, in addition to working? Yeah. Um, in my home, uh, I make uh, embroidery. Embroidery? Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. I can uh, show it if you want. <laughs> yes. Ah, very beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Wow, very talented. Thank you. It's um, it's like a, a Mika box uh, of pen. Pilot pens? Is that what it was? Yeah. Yes, pilot pen. <laughs> you you made the design yourself, as well as as sewing. Wow. That's yes, great. I drawing um, um, a design on um, uh, uh, fabric and after I, uh, I made embroidery. Amazing. Very nice. <laughs> you. I, can't, I can't do that at all. My, my son's girlfriend does that also. N embroidery and needlepoint. Yeah. Yeah, very, very creative. She's doing Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars things. <laughs> so, not Mika. <laughs> so, well, well, I hope that you can keep safe and yes. um, keep yourself busy and entertained yeah. <laughs> so you don't think about all the negative stuff. And um, we will try to talk to you again soon. Thank so, you. Okay. Thank you so much. And you Thank take you. care. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Au revoir. Okay. I don't know if Lisa has her name down for the new flag. Um, I um, we need to you know start to think about that a little bit more. I haven't really looked uh, to see. Um, yeah, uh, let's see who else is here. 
Okay. Manuela. Ciao, Manuela. Are you there? Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao Come stai? Avete iniziato bene l'anno? You had a good new year? A good non sento. Year. Non sento. Non ho l'audio. No, no audio. Oh. Sorry, non mm. sento. Mm. She can't hear me. Um, hmm. Mi dispiace. Mm. Mi spiace, spiace, spiace anche a me. Ah. Buon, anno, buon anno a tutti. No, buon anno. Ciao, ciao Nick, ciao. ciao Deb, ciao Gabri, Carlotta, Michelle. Uh, <ride> mi spiace, ciao a tutti. Ciao, ciao. She said she can't hear. Um, so, hmm. but she did say, she did say Happy New Year. And uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, it looks like your comments are lagging behind a little bit here. So I'm going to give them a second to catch up. And um, then I'll see who else is here. We only have a few more minutes, I think. Hello. Hi, Hello. Tara. How are you? I saw you say your dog is not well. No, she's um 14, so she's completely blind. And mm -hmm. I'm going through a hard time with her, but it's life, unfortunately. Mm. So, what can you do? Ah, well. I understand. My dog uh, lived to be about 15, and uh, it's very hard when they are um, not well. And yeah, uh, they're a part of your family, so mm. very hard. She's bump she's bumping yeah, so not a me. not a fun way to to bring in the new year. No, <laughs> she's no. bumping into things and bumping into people, so doesn't know where her food is. And but yeah, she's fourteen, so her sister was fifteen. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, I think it's time. Ah, uh, that's too sad. That's really sad. Little, but, yeah. But yeah so, but we are, we've got like 42 new cases in Australia. Yeah, That's how did that happen? Again. That's, you were um, doing so well. Uh, it was someone from Sydney. Oh, really? They, were tra they traced it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we're mm -hmm. keeping an eye on it. So I'm hoping we don't go back into lockdown again. But if we do, we do. And mm. yeah. I was hoping that this year will be better than last. But I don't know now. <laughs> well... Hopefully, I mean, the vaccine is starting to make its way to various countries and people are getting, getting the shot, you know, getting vaccinated and that will eventually make things better. It's just, it's, you know, still a couple months. So oh, definitely. still a couple months of this. So yeah, I'm sorry. Oh dear. Um, no. I love the, I love the memories of Mika and I wish I was there. But I, had, <laughs> I know I, I debated because I know it is hard if you haven't been able to see um, to see him or to be a part of the you know the fan club activities. Uh, I debated whether that would make people feel bad, but I like I said, I think mm -hmm. um, since we're all sort of on hold and we can't really mm -hmm. make a lot of new memories right now, or at least mm -hmm. you know not those kinds of memories. Um, it doesn't hurt to look back, I think, and, and oh, no, reflect no, on, no. on what we've done. So. A, I can't believe it's been 14 years. And I've loved him since the beginning, not since 2007. So my mum discovered him. She saw Grace Kelly on the TV and she goes, mm -hmm. oh, come and see him. So I didn't know who Mika was, but after that, I was in love with him. I've been in love <laughs> with him ever since, 14 years later. <laughs> I remember back in 2007, we had quite a few Australian fans on the fan club forum. I mean, quite a few. And he did go to Australia. And so, you know, people did get to see him then. And 
Yeah, we mm. had we had a lot of Australian fans. We had an uh, Australian moderator and a couple Australian moderators actually, um, because we had we had a lot of uh, fans from mm, Melbourne and. I'm trying to remember where, what parts of Australia they were from. I'm, so I think it's Sydney and yeah. So it's amazing, amazing. He's done so much. Yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah. Well, it, really. <laughs> well, I just wanted to check in and, and say hi and, and hope that, uh, hope that your dog is as comfortable and, you know, as okay as, as he or she can be. And uh, can do. she'll be fine. So hopefully yeah. she'll probably, she probably won't live for Christmas, but mm. it's life, you know, she'll be with her sister soon. So I'm yeah. trying to look at it that way. So yeah. Death is not the end. It's the beginning. So well, and I look you, at it. you just, you just treasure every moment you have, you have with her. So I, yeah. I will definitely. definitely. All right. Well, we'll take good care and we'll talk again soon. Um, you too. You too okay, bye-bye. Bye. Okay, I, um, Anna is here. I was going to just say hi to Anna. And uh, we're at, at one hour right now, but we can run over a little bit, I guess, if you guys uh, can hang around for a little bit. There's Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi there Hello again. How ha are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy oh, birthday to you. all of us. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this thank is you. what I prepared for tonight. No oh. balloons, but this is the heart from London. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. And oh. another one green. Oh, thank you. I, I wish I had been there in London, but oh well. That's but but I have to tell you one thing. Yes. <laughs> because it made me laugh. You showed all these pictures, all these photos as memories, mm -hmm. and I thought I want to write it to you, but uh, and suddenly I realized what I was supposed to do uh, because I thought, oh, I didn't see this all these memories last year. Uh. And I was last year we didn't have our lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I am used to it so much that for me it's obvious that we contact like this every time. And it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, like I said, it's just, it's, it's really hard to believe as I was looking through the photos and I thought, well, you know, what do we have for 2020? We don't really have anything. And then I was, I thought, oh yeah, we do. <laughs> but, and it's almost a year, you know, that's yes. crazy. crazy. But you know, I didn't realize that one year ago when we have had a, this anniversary 13th anniversary we did not have our lives so mm -hmm. how could we discuss about it <laughs> that's right it's so natural <laughs> oh yep. my god well, but today it's the day of anniversary i spent all my because it's a bank holiday in poland ah okay i spent all day long on the games proposed by mika fan club <laughs> oh <Good>. my <laughs> good. good i'm working on your tasks that it's really maybe it's not very hard but it's a time consuming the so the, i have my yes this this list of uh, the photos uh, where we have to find the objects on the mika right. instagram account right it, it takes time it does it does and when i was putting it together this year um it was a little bit harder because uh, there were a lot of black and white photos. So I couldn't say things like, you know, a blue pencil or a green, because the, the photos were not in color. And then he posted a lot more video. There were a lot of videos. Yes. yes, and, I, yes. and that's just too hard because then you, you have to sit there forever. And, and not that it's a bad thing, because watching those videos again is kind of nice. But <laughs> when you're trying to... <laughs> to put something together is like taking me three days. So, <laughs> but it was still good to go through the year like that. And yeah, it was really it. nice. Yes, yes, because it reminded me a lot of things and uh, I didn't realize it was only one year ago. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I did not find one and I'm not sure for another one. 
So uh -huh. all the rest, my, my list is here. Aha, uh -huh. good. Well, you have a couple of days after you don't have Yes, hopefully. <laughs> So you can, you can yes, because think about usually it. I, I try to start and finish the task, but this time I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I will find the the one. Yeah, you have to think. Maybe, about it. maybe. <laughs> well, but this is great. It's great. Uh, people uh, in the team is uh, very. I don't know how to call it. They have lots of ideas how to play. So mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a big fun for us. Ah, well, it's fun to put the games together, too, and uh, I, I do hope people enjoy them, and it's fun to be able to give away some things, too. That's kind of fun. Yes, and too. Fortunately, uh, Mika's team was really, you know, they gave us, they didn't give us um, a lot of variety, you know, but they gave us a lot of sweatshirts and shirts that were all extra larges, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but we did get a fair number, so we can give them to people, and and that's kind of fun. Too. Maybe this time I will, I will do something. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yes. I will try. So I will yes. play. Yes. Well, there's there's plenty of more games to come. And for anybody that's watching, oh my go god, the forum, <laughs> there's um, you know we have several more days of competitions. And like I said, I've got a trivia, a trivia competition that I'm going to put out on social media uh, for people that are. Uh, don't come onto the forum that often. So um, I'll put out like 10 questions and see, see how people do with that. So, yeah. We are, well, we are uh, busy. Yeah. That is a great pleasure. Ah, well, it's uh, like I, I heard somebody say one time, you have to stay too busy to think because if you have too much time <laughs> to think, then you start to worry about things and that's not good. So you stay too busy to think. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, but thank you. And uh, it's good to see your face. And uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. And uh, it was a pleasure to celebrate it together. Yes. Yes. Thanks. All righty. Take care. Thank Anna. You. We'll talk again. Take bye -bye. care. Too. Bye. Bye, everybody. Okay. So that is about the. And well, it's a little over an hour, and um, I think I need to um, wrap it up. But I hope that um, you weren't bored by all of the nostalgia. And um, I enjoyed it uh, looking through the photos of the past. If you ever have anything um, that you would like to share like that, please feel free. I am always interested in seeing and hearing uh, what's interesting to you. And if you've had some fan club gatherings um, that I didn't talk about that you'd like to uh, talk about maybe next week or whatever, let us know. Um, and please keep safe and um, remember to do all those things you're supposed to do. Wash your hands, wear your mask, keep socially distant. Um, things are still not great but we were going to get through this. I know we are all talking about it all the time and uh, we'll, we'll pull through. It's just going to be a while. And uh, I'm sorry that uh, so many of you are dealing with it. Um, well, we all are, uh, but I'm sorry that it's, it's hitting closer to home for some of you. And um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your comments are, are lagging for me. So I'm just reading things now. Sorry. Um, hmm, thank you. Thank, well, thank you for saying that you liked seeing the photos. I hope that you did. Um, they were kind of fun for me to look through too. And, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all so much. And, um, we'll try to do this again next week. Uh, same place, same time. Uh, I know I keep threatening to change the time a little bit to get some other time zones in. I promise I'm going to do that. And also, uh, we'll look at doing another Zoom um, in a couple of weeks. Um, probably, it might not be until February, like early February, just because uh, I've got to go visit family and, and that kind of thing. And um, Anyway, we will we'll do another Zoom soon. We'll definitely do another Instagram Live. 
next week. And uh, I hope I see you all then. Until then, take good care. And uh, thanks so much for everything. Bye.